transforming, being transformed. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I hope you are all well rested after the lunch. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, respected Chief Case, Vice Chancellor Keshe Nawasandela, Honored Expert Keshe Laudola, Director of Tibetan uh, Director of Library of Tibetan Works and Archive (LTWA), Dharamsala, uh, Director City Dr. Himan Shupante, participants and colleagues. Uh, we have reached the final and the concluding sessions of our uh, these two days lecture come workshop on mind and mental factor as well as C learning and I hope uh, you have learned quite a lot I believe uh, <coughs> uh, we would like to begin uh, our conclusion session by uh, bringing two participants uh, to share their views on the workshop. Three, uh, I think they have, we have basically, uh, there were two. Uh, one from Beit and another from BA Beit. So I would like to call upon a uh, participant from Beit, if anyone is here, to share uh, your experience. Okay, thank you. Uh. Uh, our director, sir, then all the staff members and my dear friends, uh, ま、てきでてでさんが関連してレラドルしたんで関連でてスタッフにいるし。あの、あ、たにまにりがら、まずで、給、で、コティシュエトネ、にまにりが、ゲシラドラギ。あ、センダーセムジュダチソソシエサン
Nima Tamboni Garaski, Shin, Siju, the country country school dream me, to Zulatan, to the call at any Gio Kanegandi dream me, Dijelaya, and it seemed the same Junchi, and it Tanashigi, see learning that Dizu Samara do stamps she did some money, Pemasiki Pendo Chambu Chunso, and he Gelala, and he Mazugi, beard Loma Young, gets up she named Ning Tavan in two chairs, a mamba in any dinner door, Koti Master, and Gelanum do any. Gelats and Nicola Lamdu that the name of which Tobiagi, Jawas and Wojang, and Gelanin Tabon in Tuzish. Thank you. Uh, next, if we have any students from BA Beat. Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, Sarabradam Yamanj Pupastit Kulpati Tata. Uh, कैसे कैसे लाचो और तथा यहाँ पे उपस्थित हमारे सीटी का निर्देशक और प्यारे भाई और बहनों वैसे मैंने अपने इस प्रस्तुत तिब्बती भाषा में करने के लिए मैंने सोचा था फिर यहाँ आने के बाद हमारे कुछ सेपाटियों ने कहा कि अगर आप हिंदी में कहा जाए तो शायद ये उचित होगा तो इसलिए मैं अपने वाक्य को हिंदी में प्रस्तुत करने की कोशिश करूंगा अगर इसमें कुछ गलतियां हो तो फिर माफ करें तो मैंने तीन विभागों में बांध कर अपने अपने इस प्रस्तुति को आप 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 लोगों के समक्ष रखना चाहता था तो पहले यह कि इन दो दिनों में हम लोगों ने अपने इस मूल्यवान केशेला से हमने क्या सीखा तो पहले उन्होंने लर्न फैक्ट फ्रॉम और नॉट लर्न ओनली फ्रॉम बुक तो हम उन्होंने बताया कि हमें केवल पुस्तक से पुस्तक से हम अध्ययन नहीं करना चाहिए बल्कि हम पुस्तक पुस्तक से भर के हमें और प्रकृति जैसे कि हमारे यहाँ के वातावरण फूल पौधे वगैरह यहाँ से भी सीखना चाहिए ये मुझे उचित लगा क्योंकि जब भगवान बुद्ध उन्होंने पहले बार जब एनवायरनमेंट और एनलाइटमेंट जो उन्होंने बुद्ध बुद्ध को प्राप्त किया तो उस समय उन्होंने भी मतलब प्रकृति को प्रकृति से ही उन्होंने मतलब बुद्ध तो प्राप्त किया तो यही नहीं कि इस इसी तरह और भी उदाहरण है जो हमें एक भविष्य में जाकर एक उचित शिक्षक बनना है बात में तो इसलिए हमें भी इन सभी चीजों पर ध्यान रखना बहुत जरूरी समझता हूँ जैसे कि खेवांग गेदिन छोपल के अगर हमारे एक तिब्बती का एक एक पंडित है वो भी जो अपने जो जो स्टूडेंट होते हैं उन लोगों को मतलब खाली इस मतलब कमरे में बंद कर कर चार दीवारों के कमरे में बंद करके ही नहीं सिखाते बल्कि वातावरण से जोड़ कर वो मतलब के फूल पौधे वहाँ ले जाकर फिर सिखाते हैं तो इस उद, इस उदाहरण को रखते हुए हमें भी इस उदाहरण को अनुकरण या अनुसरण करना हमें बहुत ज़रूरी और ये महत्वपूर्ण रखता हूँ और दूसरी बात जो है गेशला ने यह कहा कि जब जब हम रोटी को रोटी बनाते हैं तो उस समय अगर उन्होंने 100 100 प्रतिशत रोटी में से अगर 35 प्रतिशत रोटी अगर पकाया जाए और बाकी वो असफल रहे तो उसको हम असफल कहेंगे यानी फेल कहा जाएंगे उसको हम एक अच्छी रोटी पकाने वाला नहीं कहेंगे पर जब हम परीक्षा के साधन पर जब हम जाए तो उस समय हम 100 प्रतिशत से 35 प्रतिशत अगर लाया जाए तो उसको हम पास कहा जाए जाते हैं तो ये बात मेरे दिल को भी छुआ तो मैं भी मैं ये मानता हूँ कि मेरा ये अपना अपना ये मानना है कि हम एक छात्र होने के नाते हम केवल क्या कहते हैं परीक्षा 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 देकर जो उसी उसी को लेकर मतलब ये मैं पास हूँ और 
पैंतीस प्रतिशत लाया हूँ इसलिए पास हूँ इसलिए मैं फेल हूँ कोई दुखी हो जाते हो को, कोई खुश हो जाते तो इस साधन को लेकर हमें ये निश्चय करना ये उचित नहीं समझता क्योंकि और मेरा ये भी मानना है कि हो सके तो मगर किसी भी विश्वविद्यालय का जो एजुकेशन सिस्टम है उसमें अगर एग्ज़ाम का जो सिस्टम है वो ना रखा जाए तो ये उचित समझता हूँ मैं अपने ख्याल से क्योंकि ऐसे एक विश्वविद्यालय जैसे कि बेंगलोर की तरफ में भी सुनने को मिला है ऐसे जो अगर ऐसे होने से क्या होते हैं कि जो छात्र होते हैं वो अपने मन 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 में जो जो भी पढ़ना चाहते हैं वो अपने खुद से पढ़ सकते हैं ना कि अगर एग्ज़ाम के एग्ज़ाम सिस्टम रख कर अगर ऐसे पढ़ाया जाए तो फिर एग्ज़ाम को ही मतलब एक एक साधन रखकर उसी एग्ज़ाम के लिए पढ़ेंगे बल्कि ना कि वो अपने भविष्य में एक उद्देश्य को लेकर पढ़ सकेंगे और दूसरा उन्होंने कहा कि एक्शन एंड नॉलेज आर द इंटरडिपेंडेंट तो ये ये भी मैं बहुत महत्वपूर्ण समझता हूँ बिना एक्शन के नॉलेज नहीं होते और बिना नॉलेज के एक्शन नहीं होते ये भी बहुत महत्वपूर्ण समझता हूँ जबकि पहले यहाँ पर नालंदा विश्वविद्यालय विश्वविद्यालय हुआ करते थे उस समय नारोबा कर कर एक छात्र हो छात्र रहा था मतलब एक पंडित जो हमारा क्या कहते हैं पंडित जो कवियों के एक महापंडित में से एक माना जाता है वो मतलब नॉलेज में अधिक ज्ञान है पर जो प्रैक्टिकल जो है उनमें इतना विशेष वो नहीं है तो उन्होंने क्या किया कि एक तिलों पर करके एक जो सन्यासी है उनके पास किया क्योंकि उनके पास नॉलेज अधिक नहीं है पर भी उनके पास जो जो प्रैक्टिकल जो क्या कैसे अपने स्वभाव में कैसे उतरना है ये उनके पास बहुत अधिक होने के कारण वो उनके पास गए और उन, उन उनके पास जाकर बहुत अध्ययन सीखने को मिला तो इसलिए मैं ये बहुत मान्यता रखता हूँ अगर ऐसा नहीं कि हम कोई आ, अगर गंगा में जाए और अचानक वहाँ के गंगा के मतलब उस नौ चालक अगर किसी भी मतलब दुर्भाग्यवश वहाँ से मतलब मर जाए तो मतलब पानी में गिरकर मतलब उसका ध्यान हो जाए और उसमें उस नौ का नौका का चलाक कोई भी ना हो तो उस समय एक चलान चलाने के लिए उसके लिए मतलब एक नॉलेज होना बहुत ज़रूरी होते है अगर उस समय किसी के पास नॉलेज ना हो तो इस समय में वो कैसे उसको संभाल सकेंगे इसलिए नॉलेज होना भी बहुत ज़रूरी ज़रूरी समझता हूँ और और जो दूसरा बात उन्होंने कहा कि सोलो द सॉलिड एंड चू चू द लिक्विड तो उन इसका कहना का कहने का मतलब ये था कि खाते समय हम लोग अच्छा से चबा कर खाना चाहिए और निकलते समय उसको जो है लिक्विड बनाकर उसको मतलब निकाल दिया जाना चाहिए तो मैं मेरा पहला स्वभाव ये अपने स्वभाव स्वभाव ये था कि मैं ज़्यादा नहीं चबाता हूँ खाली मतलब मुंह में डालते ही उसको मतलब निकाल लेता हूँ तो आज मुझे ये सुनकर मुझे एक अच्छा ज्ञान हुआ दो दिन में मतलब अगर एक शब्द भी सीखने को मिला तो ये भी मेरा मैं अपने को मतलब भाग्यशील मानता हूँ तो आज जो भोजन किया तो उस समय मैं सौदान से अच्छा से चबा कर चबा कर खाया जो ये घेसेला की कृपा है और और हाँ अच्छा तो तो कंक्लूजन जो अपने इस बातचीत को मैं कंक्लूजन में रखना चाहता हूँ जो सी लर्निंग में हम लोगों ने सीखा कि सर्विस विद सर्विस लर्निंग जो हम शिक्षक हो जब हम कि किसी चीज़ को हम सीख रहे होते हैं उस समय खाली हम पुस्तक को ही मतलब ध्यान देकर ना कि ऐसे करके नहीं बैठना है बल्कि वस् वास्तविक में उतार कर हम जो स्वाभाविक में उतार कर जो जैसे कि साफ सुधर करना है प्रैक्टिकल को लेकर अगर हम अध्ययन किया जाए तो ये मतलब एक स्ट्रॉन्ग और एक अच्छा भविष्य में एक बहुत मददगारी मिलेगा इससे और दूसरा जो है एक्स एक्सपीरियन एक्सपेरिमेंटल लर्निंग तो सीखने के साथ साथ मतलब एक्सपीरियंस करके सीखना ये भी बहुत ज़रूरी समझता हूँ सर्विस लर्निंग और एक्सपीरियंस लर्निंग मेरा ख्याल से ये दोनों एक ही मान्यता रखता हूँ पर यह अपने अपने ऊपर निर्भर करता है जो आप लोग क्या सोचते हैं इनके ऊपर तो अवेयरनेस एंड कंपेशन तो ये दोनों होना भी बहुत ज़रूरी होते हैं बाद में हम शिक्षक होने जा रहे हैं तो उस समय 
अगर आपके पास अवेयरनेस अवेयरनेस बल्कि शिक्षक ही नहीं बल्कि हमारे जो रोजगारी जिंदगी में जो कुछ भी करते उस समय अवेयरनेस होना बहुत जरूरी जरूरी होते हैं जो किसी को ये भी पता नहीं चलता कि जो कुछ मतलब किसी दुष्ट पथ में भटक जाते हैं जैसे कि कुछ कुछ मतलब सिगरेट पीना या दारू पीना इस समय खुद को पता नहीं चलता कि, कि खुद किस पद पर चल रहे हैं अच्छा पद पर चल अच्छा पद पे चल रहे या खराब पद पे चल रहे मतलब ये चीज़ जो है मतलब धीरे धीरे खुद को पता नहीं चलता कि मतलब धीरे धीरे करके एक बाद में अंतिम में ऐसा होगा कि जब आपको होश में आएगा तो उस समय आपको एक नाली में डाल दिया जाएगा तो इसलिए अवेयरनेस होना भी बहुत जरूरी समझता हूँ और एक जो है कम्पेशन होना भी जरूर बहुत ज़रूरी है हम बाद में जाकर एक मतलब जो शिक्षक बनने जाते हैं तो उस समय कम्पेशन होना बहुत ज़रूरी है अगर कम्पेशन हो कम्पेशन ना होगा तो मतलब अपने छात्रों को अच्छे तरह से नहीं पढ़ पढ़ा सकेंगे एक मतलब एक समय वेस्ट करने के लिए मतलब कुछ कुछ पढ़ के उलपटंग पटंग पढ़ के मतलब फिर समय को बिता देंगे और ये नहीं ये नहीं ध्यान देंगे कि अपने छात्र किस तरह पढ़ रही है और कैसे पढ़ रहे हैं जो ये इन सब का ज्ञान हमें सीखने को मिला इन दो दिनों में और बहुत शुक्रगुजार हूँ और अंत में ये है कि घेसेला जो है पढ़ते समय मुझ मैंने ये ध्यान दिया घेसेला को कि वो पढ़ते समय पढ़ाने के बाद जो मतलब क्वेश्चन आंसर करते हैं उत्तर और जो प्रश्न पूछते हैं तो कैसेला ये नहीं कि अगर खुद को मतलब ऐसा ज्ञान ना ना भी हो तो मतलब उसको मैं जानता हूँ करके ऐसे नहीं करते ये भी मैंने एक ध्यान दिया उन्होंने उनके पर ये इसका ये ये स्पष्ट होता है कि उनके पास अहंकार नहीं है और बहुत अच्छे समझा मुझे और ये एक है कि और दूसरा जो आ, आ, तो तो ज़्यादा समझ नहीं लेते हुए इसी पर मैं आ, अपना इस वक्तव्य को समाप्त करता हूँ और अंतिम में एक फीडबैक देना चाहता हूँ कि आ, आगे जाकर इसी तरह और हमारा अध्ययन का प्रक, आ, प्रचार प्रसार करें और हो सके तो आ, खाली मतलब टीचिंग के साथ साथ अगर एक्टिविटीज़ भी हो, आ, हो सके तो फिर अच्छा रहेगा धन्यवाद थैंक यू uh next uh, i would like our honorable uh, vice chancellor to facilitate uh keshalatola with a moment to uh thank you honorable vice chancellor uh uh next i would request if uh keshe lagdola has a final words to his students and staff respected vice chancellor director and bhai aur behno <laughs> 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 I'm not going to give a lengthy discourse here because you must have been tired listening to me during the last two days ha kan phat raha hoga na so i really the only thing i want to say is i already told ngawa something la that when i conducted this three days teaching to the students before talking here the senior students yeah senior students and then now two days with you one thing that i was impressed and also very happy is the amount of attention paid by the students just like almost like one person i did not see anybody sleeping or uh, getting distracted little bit maybe sometimes but not distracted for a long time so i was very very happy and uh, inspired and i deem it a privilege for me to be able to come here meet all of you talk to you smile with you did not fight of course yeah okay <laughs> so so that was a really really privilege and one thing that i also as you are seeing right now is everybody has a smiley face that is called life 
In life, one thing that is really, really important is think about good things, opportunities that you have, facilities that you have. And I've been repeatedly saying, imagine if you are not a human being today, but instead if you are a cow or a dog, imagine what will be up. You don't have to give an exam. Exactly. <laughs> then, then, yes, you are right on the one hand. <laughs> On the, on, the, on the one hand, human beings are unnecessarily complicated. You know, we need eyeglass. Cows don't need eyeglass. <laughs> so, so, so we are a little bit like difficult to deal with or complicated. But then on a bigger scale, you know, it's because of this great human intelligence. And especially, as I repeatedly said, that intelligence itself is like nuclear energy. It's neither positive nor negative. The issue and question is, how are you going to use that potential, that human intelligence? Now here at least we are trying to, how successful we will be is a different question, but we are at least trying our best to use it in a positive direction. His Holiness the Dalai Lama is able to benefit so many people, the same human being in a way. Of course we see him as a, you know, enlightened being, things like that, but generally speaking, we will count him as another human being. Similarly, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Nelson Mandela, same human being. But they use their human potential to benefit millions of other people, and therefore just one individual, one person is able to benefit so many people. In the same situation, another person like Mao Zedong or Hitler or Idi Amin, and there's so many again in line. I have the, I have the list of all these people, how many people they have killed. I have a list which is with me. So again, they are like notorious people who just one individual brought so many problems, so many difficulties. And even today, there are many leaders, unfortunately, in the world whose, whose concern is immediate, you know, political mileage and not, not much concern about the well-being of the people. So that is why everywhere you see a lot of people are necessarily suffering. So therefore, you know, the edu kind of education that you are getting is something they, that you should be happy and you should be proud and you should be, you know, you should really appreciate that, right? So appreciate that, enjoy it, and with that sense of appreciation, enjoyment, your life will be happy. When you are happy, you can study very well, easy. Study is very easy if your mind is happy. If you are reluctant, if your mind is reluctant, just like a tired donkey taken uphill, when a tired donkey heavily loaded taken uphill, then it takes one step and looks down. It takes one step, looks down. Very difficult for that person. What? So, so, so therefore, don't don't see this educational activity as this kind of burden or something that you need to do. Ab isko karna parega, nahi karne se mujhe job nahi milega, tangha nahi milega. That's that's rubbish. All these things will come as a byproduct if you do the right thing and the most important thing, and especially as I said. The meaning of education is not just literacy, reading, writing, mathematics, but human flourishment, personally development. And personally development, human flourishment means that you are flourishing, you are happy in all the situations. When you are happy, you can do everything so easily. So, so therefore, you have that potential. You, I, I find all of you very happy people. So that's really, really important. So keep that happiness wherever you go. Keep that peace of mind, and then study will be very easy, and I don't have to say much. So therefore, as His Holiness the Dalai Lama normally says, you should be just like a you know, bird with two wings. A bird with just one wing cannot fly, cannot soar into the space. A bird with two wings can fly. So similarly, we need the wing of love and compassion and the wing of wisdom. Love and compassion based on knowledge. Wisdom is necessary because with wisdom you are able to see the reality, how we are interconnected, how much suffering we have, how much problem we have. You know, so based on that you are able to lead a life of harmony, love and compassion. So these two things you should do in your education. That's all. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, next, I would like to request our Honorable Vice Chancellor to please say a few words. Venerable Kishilakhtola, the 
Dr. Himanshu and the faculty members and students of uh, CDE. Uh, I'm very glad that uh, this uh, two days uh, workshop has been very successful. And uh, whether any program becomes successful or unsuccessful depends on the participants' participation and how enthusiastically and uh, with the sense of engagement they involved into the you know the program that is the main kind of you know the uh, parameter uh, on the basis of which we can uh, count any program to be successful so it sounds that um, from the reporter from the report as well as uh, when Keshila said and also the reflections from the students uh, seem that uh, it has been quite successful so I, I'm really, really very happy that uh, and this kind of program should keep on going again and again. And uh, there should be some kind of transformation. It seems that the transformation has reached to you and you have started to transform, right? And now the most important thing is that what Kishila has said and what uh, we generally, you know, you are taught in the classrooms, uh, there are two factors, right? One is about the knowledge, the facts and uh, the figures. The facts and figures are informations. You should not confine yourself in obtaining those facts and figures. On the basis of those facts and figures, then you have to, you know, uh, make your own, create and generate your own wisdom out of that. Just simply obtaining the facts and figure is not the knowledge. Whereas it is treated these days that uh, just to have uh, information about uh, certain, you know, uh, certain things, that is regarded to be a knowledge. And then the students are, you know, uh, assessed on the basis of how much they have obtained the data. And then after having a good scoring in terms of uh, the, you know, uh, having the data, then they are regarded to be skill, uh, successful. But this is not uh, the reality. Based on those facts and figures, they are, that brings you the picture of, uh, you know, some scenario, right? And now you have to use your intelligence to make something out of that, right? And that is why, as just Gishila uh, said, uh, the wisdom and uh, you know skills in Buddhism you have uh, the upai and uh, pragya right tab and shirab so these two things are extremely important for every kind of thing I used to say that even while you make a cup of tea you know you need a skill and some kind of wisdom you know. so and it, in order to help a millions of people and in order to benefit the students that you're going to have in future and in order to be successful in leading your own life you need uh, intelligence you need wisdom to understand the reality the analysis of the reality analysis of the facts the facts themselves are not uh, the final you know stage of uh, knowledge but you have to analyze those things and then you need to have your own reflection right so unless you don't analyze into the facts uh, and figures and then have your own reflection about that, then you are not more than a kind of, you know, the computer or which can keep lots of data. The computer keep, can keep much more, you know, data and with great precision. But being a human being, you need to have the capacity to process that uh, you know information and to make something out of that useful right which would be useful for your life and for others and for society so whatever has been covered during the two days that is our hearing stage right that you have obtained information and now this is to be processed it should not be left in the notebooks and it should not be left at the level of information. Oh yeah, I heard about compassion. I heard about the you know destructive nature of anger and things like that. Yeah, it is very bad. Anger is very bad. Compassion is very good. So that level of understanding is not sufficient, right? Of course it is good because without having even 
that level you cannot have more access into the depth of the subject, right? So after obtaining that level of knowledge, then you need to, you know, analyze and contemplate on that. So that is why we have the, the you know, the knowledge that is acquired at the, you know, the hearing level and the knowledge and the wisdom that is acquired through contemplation and through contemplation, when you reach to a level of conviction, then you ascertain it, right? You find that, oh, this is, this is the reality and this is the, you know, the thing that, uh, in, for example, anger in the case of anger, yes, anger is uh, certainly very destructive and you can experience it, right? Through your own, in your daily life, you can experience it. And once you have defined it and identified it as something to be reduced, something that, you know, you should be very much aware of, and whenever it appears in your mental domain, then you must, you know, shun it. If you have that kind of awareness and readiness to handle anger, then that is good enough to make you aware and then apply antidote whenever it appears, right? So when you have the conviction through your contemplation that anger is uh, very destructive and you, when you reach to a conviction that it is certainly destructive, based on my own experience, I have ascertained it and now onward I will try to confront it and then reduce it in the initial stage and then eventually I will be able to, you know, I should make myself able to handle it and reduce it and I won't let myself to be dominated by, you know, uh, negative emotions, particularly in this case, by anger, right? So when you reach to that level, uh, you are processing, contemplating and after that conviction, then you practice it, right? Practice it over and again, over and again, on daily basis, on every, you know, uh, the, the, on whenever it comes, then how to tackle it. At one point of time, you can find yourself that earlier I have not been able to handle it properly and uh, not, uh, I have not been successful in, you know, handling it and confronting it. Now I am, you know, better, right? So in that way, you can improve yourself. And this is the way to bring transformation. You cannot, uh, overnight you cannot bring transformation. So you ha have to do contemplation, practice, meditation. So meditation does not necessarily mean that you have to sit somewhere cross-legged. While you're walking, while you're in kitchen, while you're in dining hall, while you're in mall, you can meditate, right? When you're watching your mind, when you're navigating your mind, when you're, you know, uh, regulating your mind, that is a meditation actually. There are formal meditations and informal meditations. So when you are able to uh, manage your, you know, emotions at that stage, then you are transforming yourself, right? So then at certain level, after two, three years, when you look back, then you will find yourself much advanced in, and you will find yourself, now I'm much more peaceful person than I used to be. So that is the great reward, and that's a great kind of result, right? So what uh, Geshe-la, you know, has said, as I said, should not be left in the notebook and should not be left at the level of information but should be brought down at the contemplative level and then finally transform it into practice through meditation, right? And practice, right? And then bring transformation within yourself. This is the purpose of such teachings. This is the purpose of, uh, you know, such a kind of uh, the teachings which are transformative in nature. If you treat the same way as you, the facts and figures, then it will remain in that very domain and won't come in, into your life, right? So therefore, um, um, I think uh, as it has been, you know, suggested and requested that we should have more uh, time um, 
uh, or for this kind of uh, activities, right? And uh, someone who was that uh, su suggested that we should have more, you know, practical kind of experience and experimentations and things like that. Yeah, it is really good to go into nature and then, of course, uh, uh, but f seeing from a different angle, you're always in nature. You can bring the nature in your mental domain and then analyze it. And of course, to you know, physically go into nature and have the, you know, to analyze and feel the nature, feel the, the, the richness of the nature and how to live with nature. That is a wonderful kind of experiment and experience, right? So we will certainly, and uh, I really um, apologize for not being able to sit with you, even though I have promised many times, uh, except few times, maybe a couple of times I've not been able to sit with you. So I will try to give more time uh, for general, you know, the, the, the other departments and you as well. So, uh, and uh, I, I'm happy that the uh, director and the um, faculties and the staff have uh, uh, brought this program and uh, it has been successful. And uh, so how much this, uh, it has been successful in terms of uh, transmitting the knowledge up to you, right? That is how you felt that. Now how much it is going to go deep into your mental level depends on you. The knowledge has been transformed. How you are going to transform yourself, right? Through this transmission, that depends on you. So... Uh, I would like to hear later that uh, how much you have been, you know, able to trans bring transformation with you within yourself, right? So with these words, I uh, I would like to stop here because we have another uh, program uh, in Adisha Hall that's going to be quite interesting. Management based on the Jataka tales. Uh, this is a very special kind of uh, um, the. Uh, there is a scholar. Uh, engineering by training and uh, then after retirement uh, uh, he studied uh, Jatakas so many 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 times he read so many times and then finally uh, found that uh, while he was uh, studying he found that uh, there are so many you know uh, teachings and uh, lessons uh, uh, which are associated with uh, our you know the, the uh, life and uh, and, and social life, individual life, and he finds that, uh, of course it is, that uh, social management, uh, business management, and individuals, you know, the, uh, the management of uh, the friendship and things like that are very much, uh, you know, uh, they are in the Jatak tales. So he has been, uh, for the last few years, been going from one institute to another and from one program to another giving lecture on the on on jataka tales uh, uh, deriving the lessons on management of different kinds so i think this would be very good for you as well so we uh, have uh, arranged a talk at 3:30 so i think we should stop here and um, so uh, I, and and I would like to thank Kishi Lakhtorlao for sparing time uh, this time for both uh, our senior students and for uh, CTE. And uh, I would like to request him to come again uh, in near futures, near future uh, again and again. And uh, uh, in summer. <laughs> <laughs> But it is air conditioned, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we won't let you exposed to sun during sun that time. Yeah. So with these words, I once again thank Kishla and the organizers and all of you for being attentive and uh, you know, being attentive and uh, uh, and and uh, uh, and. Uh, you know, and, and I hope that you will uh, not only digest it, but bring transformation within yourself, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, lastly, I'll 
Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to thank Keshe uh, Lhatola for being here and teaching us, even after, I mean, having a heavy, heavy I mean, schedule with the senior students of this university. Uh, thank you very much. And I would like to thank our Honorable Vice Chancellor for being in both inaugural as well as in the valid degree sessions and giving us, I mean, like his words of advice. Thank you very much for that. And I would like to thank uh, our Director, Dr. Himash Pandey, for helping us and guiding us in organizing this uh, particular workshop come lecture series and faculty members, staffs and students, all of you, thank you very much for making this workshop and lecture a success. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a small photo session if you can quickly join us down there.